This is MetaBase part two, and we are back over here. We're going back to the setup here because this is the admin panel of MetaBase. It's super, super awesome. This, uh, this is totally free and open source and analytics um, platform. It's great for business analytics. Uh, it's great for communicating as a team. Uh, all of your questions, now I've saved this dashboard, so I'm gonna press save here, right? Now, this is gonna be saved in the dashboard section. Everybody on my team has access to the dashboard section. So I saved a question. You saved the question, you created a dashboard. Within one dashboard, I can add many questions and I can even put a filter over here. So let's have a look at how we put filters within the dashboard. I'm gonna do add a filter and it's gonna be a category. And I'm gonna do what over here, it is the order ID, okay? Order, order ID. Okay, order ID. Okay, and we are done with this. We don't have the order ID over here. Ah, okay, no, unless we do order ID as an existing, add a filter, time ID. Okay. Enter ID, default value. All right, well, that's okay. We're gonna get into this in a second. How do we create? Okay, forget it, done. Uh, remove this one. And we go into an actual <coughs> question. Uh, first, we're gonna press save here. And we're gonna go into the actual question. Okay, so again, we have the dashboard and it's okay to play around with save questions. You won't make any permanent changes. Ah. This is really messed up. Okay, so. I have over here a query that says select all from orders. I also have the created app, as you'll notice. Select all from orders where, hmm, let's see, where. Ah, here's the beautiful thing about it. If I put blank, blank, this is, uh, this is MetaBase syntax for optional value, where uh, ID equals, uh, equals order underscore ID. Okay. And let's see here. Product ID. Hmm. Product ID, created ad and quantity and all this other stuff. Created ad, yeah, that works. Can I actually? can even see the data itself. So anyways, where the order ID is blank, let's just stick with something simple right now. Right now, we have a very simple order ID and I'm gonna press save here. And I wanna save this. <coughs> right, oh, cr crap, already. we need to turn the variable. As you'll see, every time we add a variable, we have an order ID and that is a number. You need to set the data type every time. Okay. Replace the original question and let's go back now into our dashboard because we now have a new filter that we can use within the orders uh, within this question here. So I'm going to click edit dashboard. Order ID is going to be this order ID. Okay, and done. Should have saved this order ID and save this. And now I am going to click, I only want order ID number three. Have a look at this value here, subtotal 116. Okay, order ID is three and enter. Oh, crap -aroni. Well, it worked anyways. Order ID three, see, 116 and all that. Let's do a diff, let's remove the filter. It's going to search the query as if there's absolutely no order ID filter. Let's look only at order ID number nine and Order ID number nine, boom, subtitle 124. That's all there is to it, folks. It's really easy. <coughs> if I go over here, I wanna go to public sharing. Enable public sharing, yes, enable. Shared dashboard, no dashboards have been publicly shared yet, but we're gonna do that now. Let's share this dashboard. I'm gonna reload the page to enable public sharing. Okay. Oh, man, can you talk to her in the other room? That would be awesome. 
Okay.